came straight, so I feel like I got a bit of experience. Uh, I didn't know much about football before Michigan State, so everything I learned was there. And uh, uh, I feel like I, I grew into a, a very confident player and a player with a lot of knowledge. Who's the best player going back to Michigan State that we're not talking about right now, but a year from now we're all going to be talking about? They know we slamming and twisting I like Kenny. I like Kenny Willikins. He's going to be a dog. I like uh, JoJo, Josiah Scott. Uh, How about guys going back to Michigan State next year? Oh, uh, next year. Oh, the young guys. Yeah, yeah, the young guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we got some guys. Uh, I like Elijah Collins. He stands out about Elijah. He's a playmaker. He's he's uh he's gonna uh, whatever opportunity he got he's gonna make the mess of it most of it and uh, I'm most excited about him uh, Naquan that's uh that's my, my uh, one of my kids I feel like I take care of all the time but uh, he's gonna be a baller too. And, uh, Big Ten's known for a lot of big tough offensive linemen. Who's the toughest guy you saw in a game this year? This year? Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good guys in the Big Ten, but uh, my favorite one going up against was uh. Number 73 from uh, Ohio State. I like I like this game. Yeah, uh, you can't just go there uh, with one move against him. I feel like you have to make counter moves, and he responded well. So I, I like that guy. I like him. So, sorry if you've been asked already, but what were your thoughts on Mark D'Antonio's sudden retirement? Oh man, I I mean I love Coach D. He he uh, played a part in the man I am today, and uh, uh, I don't know what what was going on with that, but. Uh, I know that he had an amazing career at MSU, and uh, he's a players coach, so everybody loves him. Uh, all the players that play for him. Love him. What's your favorite memory playing under him? Uh, just uh, some of the, the, the jokes he come in with, the, the bit of the dry humor he got, does, uh, all those team meetings. And, yeah, he's just a great guy, and uh, he, I mean, he's gonna uh, forever for, affect my life. You know? Great guy. Back in 2015, there was a lot of buzz about Michigan State. Yeah, definitely. Where's the thin coordination sometimes? Like, you said, no. Right, I mean, like, obviously, Michigan State in 2015. Like, I'll throw a little curve, but, you know, the team is doing well. I, I wish I could throw a little curve. I could do that. Well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I feel like if you have a good team, uh, if you if if you have a great season, uh, you're gonna have great players. You know, that's how the world looks at everything. So uh, if you have a bad season, you know, then you're gonna have bad players. That's how that's how it goes. So uh, I don't know if that really much uh, really uh, too much affected everybody, but I know that that's just the way the world is. You have great. You have a great team, you have great players, you have a bad team, you have a bad one. Do you feel like some of the talent, I guess, that's in this draft class for Michigan State has been underrated a little bit? Um, I don't know. I don't know about that necessarily. Uh, I feel like everybody evaluates the right way. Uh, they'll take their, uh, if you look at the film, I feel like we got good film. Everybody here got good film, so uh, I'm just excited to be here, honestly, and uh, grateful for the opportunity. Have you had any meetings with the Atlanta Falcons? Yeah, I met with him. Yeah. Yeah, Is that uh, informal? Or? No, all informal. And yeah. what, did that, what was that conversation like? It was nice. Uh, it was nice. To, uh, I got to you know the D-line coaches a little bit and uh, just just interacted with the coaches and uh, the scheme that they go through and uh, teaching the football. So uh, there's a lot of knowledge going on, and I, and I like it. I like learning. Do you watch players like Grady Jarrett? Oh yeah, I know about them. I know about them, but uh, I'm not. I'm not big into like uh, watching all the NFL games and everything. But I, I know the good players. You know, I know. Yeah. Do you not watch the NFL games because you get enough football, or do you just don't watch them? Do you want to be yourself? Or what? I don't know. I don't know. I just never been big into watching uh, all the NFL. Got other things to do. No, I, I re, no, I like watching basketball. I like, uh, you know what I mean. So, I mean, I watch the, the games when I have a chance. I love watching Aaron Donald too. You know, so. People don't know that really about you. How good of a basketball player you were. You think you could have played college basketball? You, I think you I could. Yeah. I think I could. You stuck with it? Yeah, if I would have. Yeah. <laughs>